Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back once again to our Viking Let's Build series. Today I'm going to be showing you the interior for this Viking-style church that we recently made. Uh, but just in case you missed the tutorial or the Let's Build, whatever you want to call it, for the exterior, what I'm going to do really quick is fly around and show you that. So as you can see, it does look pretty cool. I really like during the nighttime how the light actually does shine through all these big giant windows and whatnot. So I did enjoy how that turned out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and fly on into the inside, or I guess we can walk in here. Uh, so in the, I guess, little entrance, as you might want to call it, there really isn't too much going on. And the main reason for that is just because I wanted people to come in here and then decide, oh, well, there's not much going on in here, so I'm going to move on. And then they end up in this awesome area. So uh, if you do want to kind of see what's in here, all it is really is this flag on sort of this little post right here. Uh, and then these two little plants on top of these decorative chiseled stone bricks. And the reason they look different is because for this one, I did dig into the ground just so the bottom half of it does look different because when these two things sort of connect they form different looks which is pretty cool uh, but sometimes they don't turn out how you want them to uh, so anyways that's about it and along with this little rug so we'll move on to this area and before we progress into that section uh, I'll go ahead and show you these stairs which I really like and they especially look cool if you are over here and then kind of on your way out uh, it's just like a really nice little entrance piece uh, that looks amazing in my opinion and then just to make sure people wouldn't fall off the stairs uh, I did add fences, and the only reason those ones don't have it is because uh, if I put those in, the build would burn down just because of this lava. For some reason, I guess you can't have anything within like that distance or something, or else the whole place burns down. So keep that in mind uh, if you do decide to do something like this. But anyways, up here, not really too much, just sort of like a table uh, with plants and chests and whatnot. And I really didn't want to go in this thing with the mindset of making it like a traditional church especially since it is in the Viking style, and if you are trying to be realistic, uh, Vikings didn't really go into a building to worship their gods and stuff. They sort of had uh, relics, but I guess if you want sort of like a lore behind this, uh, we can assume that this piece is probably here in the land, kind of wedged into the ground, and it, maybe it represents one of their gods, but they decided to build this building around the relic instead of uh, making the church itself and then placing something there. Uh, so I guess maybe to make this even more... Uh, cool and make it make a bit more sense. I probably could add some rocks around here that maybe it's still stuck into. Oh, so that could be quite cool. Or if you wanted to do something else, maybe instead of this little table with the lava under it, you could place like a big giant tree in here. Uh, that's one of the other options that I was actually deciding on, but uh, I just kind of like the lighting that this thing gave off. So about this room, uh, not too much. As I said, I didn't really want to do the traditional thing, so that's why I didn't place the rows of seating going down the big aisle and there also isn't like a set place for a priest to speak or anything and that's because they the vikings didn't really use priests or anything they just kind of on their own uh went and sort of gave offerings to the uh the shrines or whatever that sort of represented their gods so that's why this area sort of looks like this and this seating is really just for sort of comfort i guess or if maybe there's like a line to come over here and worship this relic uh, instead of waiting in line, they could always come over here and sort of chat it up with their other Viking brethren. Uh, but this centerpiece right here, uh, it doesn't actually emit light because this thing is not on top of it. However, if you place that on, it's going to sort of cover up the light. And I think it gives off a bit of a cooler effect like this instead of making the build way too bright. Because as I've said many times before, I do like the dark and gloomy uh, feeling of most of my builds. So on top of this, I did just throw a couple things on, such as the plants and these little chests, which in the default texture pack, I believe are the Steve heads. So if you are in default, probably don't do these because they might look quite ugly. Uh, but around the build to sort of light this place up, I did throw around some torches. And then also um, I put in some of these little, I guess, what are they called? Chandeliers that are hanging from this log. It's like a big giant tree that we can assume was cut down by these Vikings and then just sort of thrown up here. Not sure how the hell they would have put it up here, but I guess we can... Maybe they have like a Viking wizard or something that somehow got it up there. We'll just ignore that for now. But um, we also have these little, I guess we could just call them support beams and stuff that are just kind of decorative along with a, a sort of functional feeling because they do hold up the big giant roof section up there, which uh, I tried here. Let me light it up just so you guys can sort of see how it turned out. In fact, I'll grab myself a torch uh, really fast. But I tried to clean it up a bit, as you guys may have seen in the exterior uh, let's build it was kind of all of these things so there wasn't like a mixture between the logs and the spruce wood so I did clean that up and gave it like a nice uh, clean look along with, like a sort of pattern so uh, that turned out quite nicely but yeah we have the chandeliers with the chains holding them up and these I believe are cobwebs uh, in the default texture pack so they still should look all right people kind of know what you're going for still and then these are just the brewing stands 
as you can see right there. So on the back side, to sort of finish this off, uh, I think I did already go over that, so I'll ignore that for now. And then we do have these little steps going up to here, uh, which is just a sort of little, I guess, library that might have books about the gods and whatnot. But that is it for today, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this quick little show around. Hopefully it gave you guys some ideas uh, that you guys could use for your church. Or what could this be called? I mean, it's not a traditional church, but it's... I guess we could call it that. <laughs> Whatever, I can't really think of a name for it right now. Uh, but another thing you could probably use this building for, uh, maybe could be sort of like a longhouse. Because uh, it's almost like a castle, maybe if you changed up uh, this little front piece. So if you don't want to build a church because you're really into sort of the Viking traditions and you want to go as realistic as possible, you could just use this as sort of the longhouse that maybe the Jarl stays in. Uh, so keep that in mind. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and make sure to let me know in the comments what you want to see next time. Uh, if you're wondering the next style we're going to be building in, it will be the medieval one. Uh, also, I got a few, quite a few recommendations to do sort of like a cemetery or graveyard. Uh, so if you like that idea, definitely let me know that in the comments, and that's maybe what I'll be doing next. 50% uh, chance that I'll be doing that next. Uh, if not, if you have some sort of cool idea that pops into mind, uh, and I'll like it, I'll probably do that. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next one.